in the world could this be? Knocking out duelists and taking their decks? Wh what's the purpose of all this? I think it's safe to say that I don't know. So stop asking me. What is this, the hundredth time? Fifteenth by my count. What he's ever met. Thank you. I try. But we have to take into account that this might not be for some agenda. Some assholes just might have gotten a hold of it and decided to play robbers. You know all those urban legends about shadow cards? You believe in those? No, but legends have to start somewhere. And I'm sure the Sori Calico's card just started in a factory out in the middle of nowhere. Well, excuse me for offering up a theory. It's better than what you've been actually doing. Sorry, you're right. Didn't get much sleep after that duel last night. It's finally taking its toll on me. Apology accepted. But where are we going with this? We've been looking in your brother's book, and we've been online for ages. I don't know, but there's something here. There has to be. Hopefully it turns up tomorrow. What time is it? Uh, 2.30. Yikes. Better get to bed. This was fun, though. Pulling all-nighters, just like old times. Wait, you're going to bed? We haven't figured out anything. And at this rate, we probably won't for a while. We've got stuff to do today. Tomorrow? Today. Like what? We've gotta stop by the storage lockers on the other side of town. Parents stashed my stuff in one before they left. Gotta pick it up before midnight before they auction it off. Oh. Yeah. Look, if you want to talk about them... <laughs> it, it's okay. We don't talk about your brother, do we? That's different. He died 12 years ago. And my parents left for. Look, I'm gonna go to bed. What about you? I... I'm gonna stay up for a few more hours. Maybe find something. Don't burn yourself out. Night. Night. What's going on? Hello, Spectra. Who are you? My name is Morgan Prince. Are you real? Or is my insanity just starting to get me? Well, I wouldn't doubt the lack of sanity. I can assure you, I'm quite real. Sounds like something a hallucination would say. But I guess I have nothing to lose to talk to you. On the contrary, actually. You have everything to gain. What? What do you mean? 
I'm afraid I can't discuss many of the specifics with you here when they're so prone to interception. Wait, they can see you too? No, but they can hear me to a degree. So let's move this along before they decide to investigate, shall we? All right, give me the basics. Excellent. Now, without getting too specific with things, I'm here to offer you a job. A job? Yes, and you've come up as a good candidate for it. But how do you know about me? Listen, Spectra, I don't have much time here, and I haven't even gotten this good part yet. So if you could please do so, shut up. Thank you. Now, obviously you can't do said task while confined here. Assuming I want to. Shut up. So, I will offer you a way out of here on the condition that you will come and meet with me to discuss this more. You can talk now, but do it quickly. A way out? Yeah. How is that possible? It's a bit too complicated to explain right now. Do you want the offer or not? Anything to get out of this hellscape. Perfect. One of my associates will be here to escort you soon. Well, that's step one accomplished. Now time to find that associate. That would be me. What? Who are you? Are you my escort? Slow down, Grandpa. The answers are, I'm a person. My name is Sam, and Master Morgan sent me. Master Morgan, you say? You have no idea. So, can you walk or do you need a cane or something? What do you mean I need a cane? Hey, it happens to the best of us. So wait, where are we going? I need the boss. Grandpa. <laughs> I don't know, Jim. What luck I have. Who are you? I'm merely a pedestrian interested in your Egyptian god card. So you're one of those masked guys. What do you freaks want? I think I've already stated that I want your god card. Well, that answer was better than a long, half big speech on how pretentious you are. But that doesn't answer my question. Do you really think I would tell you what you want to know? I don't know. I see a lot of your types on TV, and they tend to like talking about themselves. Well then I must say, the media has misrepresented people like us. You clearly do not know what you're up against. And what am I up against? A force more powerful than you could ever imagine. Now hand over the guard card. I would prefer not to take it by force. And I was the one making stupid assumptions. You really think I'm just going to hand it over to you? You're going to have to take it from me. I assume you are suggesting a duel? Nope. Got better places to be. Better luck next time, though. I really didn't want to have to resort to this. <laughs> Alright, fine. You want a duel? Oh, 
All right, I'll go first. I draw. I summon Breaker the Magical Warrior and attack him. This monster gets a spell counter placed on it when it's summoned, which gives it 300 attack points. And if I remove it, I can destroy any spell or trap card. I set two cards face down, and end my turn. I activate Infected Mirror. This continuous spell card allows me to attack you directly once per turn with a level 4 below monster. However, this monster is destroyed during the end of the battle phase. I summon Luster Dragon and attack me. Then I set one card face down and end my turn. I draw. I summon Skilled Dark Magician. I equip Skilled Dark Magician with Black Pendant, giving him 500 more attack points. And since I activated a spell card, he gets a spell counter. Now, Dark Magician, attack his Luster Dragon! <laughs> now, Breaker, go for his life points! I discard Karibo from my hand, therefore making all battle damage zero. <sighs> now I use Breaker's effect. By detaching his spell counter, I can now destroy a face-down card. No matter. I end my turn. I draw. I set one monster face down in defense position. Then, I set one card face down and end my turn. I draw. I activate Magical Dimension. If I have a spellcaster on my side of the field, I can sacrifice one monster to summon a spellcaster and destroy one card on the field. I sacrifice Breaker to summon Dark Magician. Then I'll destroy your face down card. And since I activated a spell card, Skill Dark Magician gets another spell counter. Now, Skilled Dark Magician, attack his face down monster! Since my monster was Mass Dragon, I can now special summon another dragon type monster from my deck with 1500 attack points or less. I'll summon another Mass Dragon. I use Dark Magician to attack your dragon. Now, from my deck, I special summon Arm Dragon level 3. I end my turn. I draw. During my standby phase, I can activate On Dragon Level 3's effect and sacrifice it to special summon On Dragon Level 5. I summon Baby Dragon and attack. And with the power of Infected Mail, I'll use it to attack you directly. After my battle phase, I'll activate my Monster Reborn card to bring back Lust. Then, I'll use On Dragon Level 5's special effect. By sacrificing one monster on my side of the field, I can destroy one monster on your side of the field with attack equal to or less than the monster I sacrifice. I'll sacrifice Luster Dragon to destroy Skilled Dark Magician. You lose 500 because of Black Pendant. Uh. I set one card face down, and end my turn. I draw. I summon Skilled Black Magician. my face down card, Reinforcements. That gives my dragon a boost of 500 attack points. I end my turn with the face down. I draw. <laughs> you are doomed. I activate the seal of Orichalcos. What? No! This is a very special card. It gives all my monsters 500 attack and defense points. Furthermore, when you lose, your soul will be sealed away for all eternity. Continuing on, I summon Wind Dragon Guardian of the Fortress of Rome to attack. Using Infected Mail, I'll use it to attack you directly. I activate Enchanted Javelin. For your attack lands, I gain life points equal to your monster's attack. This won't hurt me a bit. Are you sure about that? <laughs> that felt real. Duels in the Oracalco so as real as the air we breathe. Well, I guess no pain, no gain. I'm glad you feel that way. Because now you're going to feel even more. On um, Dragon Level 5, attack our skilled one magician. <laughs> I end my turn. I draw. I activate Monster Reborn to summon back Dark Magician. 
I activate dark magic attack. This will destroy all your spell and trap cards, including your seal. What? Oh, did you really think it would be that easy? Well, either way, you're not gonna be using infected mail anymore. Yes, but it hardly matters with their life points so low, seeing your guard card will be ours. I don't think so. I still have life points left. You're not getting my card. We'll see about that. Now continue your turn so I can destroy you. I set one card face down and end my turn. <laughs> you really thought you could destroy the seal, didn't you? You're not worthy to wield an Egyptian god card. Just make your move. Very well then, I draw. Seems you want to end things quickly. I summon my last mass dragon in a And I'll use Arm Dragon Level 5 to destroy Dark Magician. <laughs> now I'll finish this. Mass Dragon, direct attack! How are you still standing? The seal should have taken your soul. Not exactly. No! I activated Tiki Curse. It summons itself, and I put it in defense mode, so my life points are safe. You're only delaying the inevitable. Make your move. I draw. You've lost this duel. How could that be possible? Let me just show you. I activate Monster Reborn. Ha! No monster in your graveyard can defeat me. Who said I was summoning from my graveyard? I summoned Kuribo from your graveyard. Why would you do that? Kuribo is far too weak to stand up to me. Hold on, let me finish. I now activate Multiply. Multiply? Yes, it allows me to make one Kuribo. So what? Just more weak monsters. I wouldn't be too sure about that. I sacrificed these three monsters to summon Obelisk the Tormentor. What? No! I'll show you just how wrong you were when you said I wasn't worthy. Now Obelisk, attack his masked dragon with Fist of Fate! <laughs> no! Master! I failed you! You're Morgan Prince, I presume? And what, might I ask, made you think that? Well, you invited me here and... <sighs> it was a rhetorical question. Is now a bad time? No, no, it's fine. Just seeing some of my subordinates. Can't get things done without receiving an order twice. Glad to see Samantha managed to get you here in one piece. I wasn't exactly sure how it would go with readjusting. So what is it exactly that you want? I'm afraid this isn't about me. This is about you. This is your interview, after all. Uh, interview? Why? Well, because... I need to make sure you're the best man for the job. What's the job? Take a seat. Ah. 
I would like you to be part of an operation I've been working on for some time now. Specifically, the main part. I need you to retrieve a device for me, and anyone that happens to see you to be, well, eliminated. You can handle that, right? I'm not killing anyone. Oh, please. You wouldn't be killing them, just taking their soul. And then they'd be dozing off asleep and, well, never wake up. Sounds a whole lot like killing to me. Guess I'm a serial killer then. Mom and Dad would be so disappointed. So you're saying you've done this before? Um, yes. Interesting. How'd you do it? You sound interested. I said it sounded interesting. You going to answer? Sorry, but a magician never reveals his secrets. All you have to do, though, is join, and you'll find out. What happens if I say no? Well, the world could end. What's that supposed to mean? Exactly what it sounds like. The device I need you to retrieve will lead to an extinction level event. Without the power being properly contained, it could lead to the end of the world as we know it. I'm inclined to accept. Don't get me wrong, but who do you work for? You lost me. Well, as far as I know, the only organizations in this area with the technology to get me out of that prison are the FBI or the CIA. And this does sound like something they'd recruit for, other than the whole soul thing. I'm afraid you got me wrong. I work for no one. So why is it that you're doing this? You don't seem like the good Samaritan type. On your way here, what did you see? What I always see is a world plagued by evil. Corruption of the light spills into every aspect of our society. It's like acid. An acid that will melt our world to a shell of its former self. And the people will be nothing but deformed monsters that feed on its ruin. I have a plan to change this. If the world is destroyed, then the human race stands no chance. I'm assuming this change has something to do with this power you speak of? Yes. The seal of Ori Calcar. It has the power to detect and is fueled by the darkness in a person's soul. It has the power to take the souls of any duelist that loses within its borders. So you want me because of the way I duel? Exactly. And you don't think this change just might take time? I've considered it, but I've seen many people try and many people muck it up. I've decided to take things into my own hands. Right. And you won't mess this up? I don't make mistakes. I make masterpieces. And now I'm giving you the chance to help me with one. Hey boss, they found something. Can't it wait? They said it was top priority. My apologies, Spectra. I'll be back with you in a moment. Savior. Everybody out. We're 
done here. So sorry, Spectre. I'm afraid we're going to have to continue this conversation another day. Contact me at this number. What's going on? Nothing you need to concern yourself with. Sure there's nothing else that I need to know? Only that this meeting and any future ones are to remain unknown and confidential to the public. Is that because you were wanted by the FBI? How did you know about that? Pickpocketed a friend of yours. Sam, is it? Did some research on you. Tear down any buildings recently? I guess I'm going to have to have a word with her. So there was something else. You asked me if you needed to know anything. You didn't need to know that. Besides, the charges are false. Why would they file false charges against... How old were you? 17? Haven't aged a bit. Unfortunately. The reasons behind them, though, aren't actually criminal. They're just... insurance. Insurance. Let's just say I've seen them at their worst. And these charges are their way of keeping me from coming out against them. Nobody would believe the word of a wanted terrorist. Well, there's good reason behind that. You don't believe me. Am I supposed to believe you over the FBI? Believe it or not, this is much more complicated than it I'm aware. Good. Here. Just in case. What? Just know, if you choose to accept this mission, the seal will test you. If you fail, your soul will be forfeit to my collection. If you succeed, you will unlock the seal's ultimate power. I'll keep that in mind. What? What? My cards. They've been replaced. Must have been him. Ooh. That man who sent me to that prison. I need to find him. Well, I'm afraid you're out of luck. What? Everyone associated with that monstrosity of a dimension disappeared 12 years ago. They went into hiding soon after your disappearance. 12 years? Couldn't have been that long. I wasn't exactly sure. How it would go with readjusting. No. No, I have to find it. I told you, he's gone. Not him. My deck. Uh... I just need some lead on where they are. Spectra, that won't be necessary. What? Sam! Kill him. What the? <coughs> Sorry, Spectra, but without your deck, you're just not the duelist I wanted to hire. And now, you're a liability. I hate those. <coughs> but wouldn't my murder be another liability? Eh, most likely the owner of this house will be under investigation. I keep my home invasions quite neat. Wait, I'll do it. I suppose you can use the collection from the god hunt. I don't need anything else but the cards I have. Are you absolutely sure? Well played, Spectra. Let me go. I wasn't actually going to kill you. Wouldn't put poor Sammy through that. What? I just wanted to show you a little bit of what things would be like while you're around me. All these people wouldn't have stopped me had I had her kill you. Remember that next time you try to uproot me again. 
that all these people would do as I say, just like that. That's the kind of loyalty you can't buy. Oh. And for the duration of your stay, you will refer to me as Master Morgan. Come along now, we must be on our way. <laughs>